Okay, so this is an example, we'll come back to the movie, but this is an example of a symbiotic relationship. And what a symbiotic relationship is, is you have two different, I guess, organisms, and they both benefit from each other's actions. In this case, the, the African tribe learned how to create calls to get this honeybird to locate... Um, Honeycomb without with like a hide and seek type of like you're warmer or colder. The bird flies around and changes the call when he gets close to the honeycomb, and then eventually they find the honeycomb, and then the African people get the honeycomb from the from the I guess <coughs> hive, and then here we can play the rest of it. They give honeycomb to back to the bird for helping them find the hive. six paradigms of human interaction for habit number four, think win-win. The first uh, of these paradigms is the win-win relationship. And agreements or solutions are mutually beneficial and satisfying for all, which means that all parties feel good about the decision and are committed to the action plan. The next example is the win-lose situation, which is fairly self-explanatory. But one person wins or gets away, and the other person does not and loses. This is often an um, uh, example of an authoritarian, uh, authoritarian approach to human interaction. And the family <laughs> model and various other models kind of set up society towards this type of interaction. The third relationship is the lose-lose relationship which states that both parties lose because they are both too focused on making the other person lose. The person can be so obsessed with the enemy losing, even if it means losing for themselves. Also, this could mean that the person is so miserable and wants others to be miserable too, so they do everything that they can so that they lose as well. <coughs> and then another one is the lose-win scenario, which is kind of the opposite <coughs> of win-lose, where you purposely lose to let the other person win, sacrifice your own ability to win because you'd rather appease to the other people and go to there. And this is very weak and chaotic from the beginning and a problem that happens with the lose-win scenario is that people tend to bury their feelings and not get them out and it kind of festers inside of you, which is not good. The fifth relationship is simply win, and this is when the person is only focused on themselves winning and getting what they want and not worrying about anyone else. Uh, they don't necessarily want someone else to lose, but they just want to make sure that they get what they want by winning. And then the last one, win-win or no deal, is very similar to the very top one, that's win-win, except there's a no deal part added, which basically means that there, if, there's, if you can't agree between the two parties, you agree to disagree agreeably. And it's, this is different than a compromise. A compromise is more just you, the two parties not really agreeing on anything, giving and taking away certain 
things that they want, and nobody really has a sense of feeling of winning. So compromising is kind of a lower level of win-win rather than win-win or no deal. And you should strive to get to have win-win, no deal uh, relationships for interdependent realities. And it is also not just every single um, interaction you have should be win-win or no deal. It kind of depends on what the interaction is, which one you'd want to go with. Um, yeah. So we're going to talk about the five dimensions of win-win. <clears throat> the first uh, being character, which is a three-facet dimension. The first is integrity that we've read a lot about before in the previous <coughs> sections and other people have talked about, but basically it's the value that we place on ourselves. The second facet is maturity, which John is drawing the graph for. It's the balance between <clears throat> courage and consideration. And I have a quote from Covey, who, Covey didn't actually write this, it's Saxonian, and he said, the ability to express one's own feelings and convictions balance with consideration for the thoughts and feelings of others when talking about maturity. <clears throat> so as you can see from this little graph, I'm sure you guys have read it and looked at it, but consideration is on the y-axis and courage is on the x-axis, and then <clears throat> based on those um, being... Being, this is going high and high, and then obviously lower is that way. So lose, win, 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 lose, lose, and win, lose. And then the third facet of character is abundance mentality, which is a paradigm that means there is plenty for everyone. The opposite of this is scarcity mentality. Um, these are the people who see life only as so much, and as, as though there were only one pie, and as people get pieces of the pie, it means less for everyone else. The next dimension of win-win is has to do with relationships and building trust, and which the emotional bank account, which we've already talked about in an earlier class, was is very important for this. And it's much easier to have a high emotional bank account for both parties to be able to have a very good... Uh, win-win situation. It's not necessary, but it makes it easier. And also, agreements mean very little and without the good relationships to support them. So the relationships kind of build a base for the agreements. So the third dimension is agreements, with jo which John just mentioned, but we are talking about performance agreements, which focus on the results instead of the methods, and specify parameters, use resources, and then the accountability sets the standards of performance. And then lastly, consequences become the natural result of performance instead of a reward or punishment. Then the next dimension is systems, which basically means you need to have, you need to have set up systems to support win-win. So you want to set up situations that promote win-win outcomes. And an example that makes, that's kind of opposite of this is, let's say you running a company and you have an employee of the month award, and that employee gets a bonus or whatever. You would get, that is a sy system which sets up a win-lose situation, not a win-win situation, because only one of your employees gets a bonus and the other ones don't. And it doesn't fester the win-win category. Um, interaction like you want and yeah the fifth and last dimension of win-win is the processes and so how do we arrive at the win-win uh, Covey lists a four-step process which includes first to seek the problem from the other point of view and seek to understand it the second is to identify key issues and concerns the third is to determine what results would constitute a fully acceptable solution. And finally, to identify possible new options to achieve those results. And so, win-win is not a personal technique, it's a paradigm of human interaction. 
And just like in nature with symbiotic relationships, it's an example of nature's win-win situations where both people benefit and that's the important thing to remember. Any questions?